fast texting. Maybe if I delay going inside long enough, Blackwell will be overrun by future excellence. And by future excellence, I mean mole people. That pick would actually make a sweet tattoo. Cigarette skill. Rachel! Oh, good. You're here. Yeah, this girl does everything. I do beseech you, chiefly that I might set it in my prayers. What is your name? Miranda. Oh, my father, I have broke your hest to say so. Good. Admired Miranda, indeed worth what's dearest in the world. Many a lady I have eyed with best regard, and many a time had listened to... Many a time, the harmony of their tongues hath I listened to... Hayden, you're killing me. You've had weeks to be off book. Sorry, Mr. Keaton. No, don't apologize to me. Apologize to your scene partner, who's been very accommodating, and to your other fellow actors. And most of all, to yourself. Mr. Keaton, sorry to interrupt, but does this look better? I had my mom take it in a bit. Rachel looks awesome. This is getting as surreal as last night. Looking good, Rach. Very cool. Exquisite, Rachel, as always. Mr. Keaton, I'm still having trouble with... My affections are then most humble. I have no ambition to see a goodlier man. I mean, does she really mean that? Especially because I just straight out told her I've been banging all the ladies. <sighs> yeah, that is hard. We've talked about that line forever. We need a fresh perspective. The question is, are Miranda's feelings of instant passion for Ferdinand just inexperience in dramatic circumstances, or has she actually just met the love of her life? What do you think? Miranda's an idiot because falling in love is stupid. <laughs> what is she, 12? Actually, she's about 15, so your point, whoever you are, about being an idiot or being naive is well taken. Thanks, Mr. Keaton. Later. See you later, guys. Oh, no. I have first period improv with a class full of freshmen now. Your eye looks fabulous. Where'd you get it done? Uh... What? <laughs> Just kidding. That asshole really clocked you. It wasn't a big deal. I'll just be a minute. Okay, so why am I here again? Oh, could you grab my belt for me? I think it's in my bag over there. Uh, y yeah, sure. Okay. Uh, get the belt, don't say any stupid shit, and don't, like, fall down. <laughs> Should be doable, right? Sweet collar, Pepe. I like how the music picked up. Should be life is drama. As soon as we met up with Amber. If I'd known acting meant getting to play with weapons, I totally would have auditioned for uh, The Tempest. I guess the Prescott donation doesn't cover this. Rachel, Amber. Hey now, sharing is caring. Hack. Hey now, sharing is caring. To internet or not to internet. I have feelings about this. Most <laughs> why do theater kids take themselves so seriously? Yeah, that was stop. To really. internet or not to internet. I have feelings about this. Most of them are not good feelings. <laughs> Why do theater kids take themselves so seriously? To internet or not to internet. 
This poster definitely says <laughs> something. RA will suck as Prospera. If VC had any talent, maybe she would have gotten the part. Talent? Is that what got Mr. K to cast you, slut? Guess they don't call it Drama Lab for nothing. <laughs> what to say, what to say. Slut shaming is so 2009. VC should know. Grab the belt. Rachel looks so happy here. There's Rachel's belt. Guess I'll go give this to Rachel now. And we go backstage. Rachel Amber, drama star and guardian angel. I still can't believe that was her last night. Hello. Save my life. Get some ink. Oh, <laughs> sometimes you just gotta turn up the heat. I'm gonna guess it's from Logan. Where the hell is she? Must be a hundred costumes in here. <laughs> Am I the only student who's not in this show? Uh, Rachel? Is this your belt? Yes! <laughs> Thank you. This is kind of awkward because they're like 15 years old. I really liked your costume. Thanks. So, did you bring flowers for my dressing room? Uh, <laughs> I guess I owe you. I'll hold you to that. I'll let you finish changing now. No peeking. Chloe Price. Rachel Amber. Last night was amazing. You call getting attacked by goons amazing? I've got to hang out with you more. Deal. To tell the truth, I went to bed last night wishing it never had to end. But then I thought, why? Why does it have to end? Maybe it doesn't uh, have to end. Exactly. How would you like to join me on a little field trip? Ditch class. You mean it? Is that weird? No, it's awesome. I hoped you'd say that. Now about that eye, that is a hell of a battle scar. Do you want me to cover it up with some makeup? Nah. Are you kidding? This is a badge of honor. Respect. Let's get the hell out of here.
The train yard. You sure you don't want to just grab the bus or... Nope. If we're gonna go rogue, we're doing it right. Well? What the hell am I getting into here? I could never get into the whole distressed jean look. I just can't get past it. Too hipster. I can be a little Where hipster, does this thing but... Go? Too much. North? Maybe we'll end up in Seattle. Pull up a chair, Price. The view's amazing. Jesus, Elliot. It's like we're married or something. Rachel wants me to pull up a chair. Maybe one of these crates. Guess we're not the first ones to hop on this train. I wonder what the symbols mean. Whoa, Nathan's dad is a Terminator? That totally checks out. I feel pretty confident there's going to be a dead body in here. It eh, wouldn't be the first time for this series. Sit yet. There's something Things back there. Heavier than it looks. One second. Guess I should sit down. I see humans, but no humanity. Everybody is somebody, but no one wants to be themselves. <laughs> Some preachy graffiti up in this train. Human is another word for monster. Mulligan stew? What? I was supposed to read Huck Finn in English last year. Now I'm living it. Price one. Twain zero. Have a seat. All right, Chloe. You're on a freaking train with Rachel freaking Amber. Play it cool. Man, everyone in this game. Is this nervousness? Is that what this feeling is? Wish Max were here so I could ask. Should I make small talk? Is that what people do? Everyone has put this girl on such a huge pedestal in this game. Like her fart don't stink or something like that. <laughs> what? Come on. Uh, uh <laughs> so, um, what is wrong with you? What? You're acting nervous. So, it's kind of weird that we're hanging out. You mean because I don't hang out with anyone and I don't have any friends? You have friends. Well, I used to. Friend. Singular. Her name is Max, but she left for greener, more northern pastures. That sucks. I didn't mention it earlier, but you seem to have some kind of Jedi mind powers over Mr. Keaton and the theater crew. You mean when we were talking about true love in the play? <laughs> I guess you could say I'm good with people, yeah. Just don't pull that stuff with me. You will get on this train. Oh, <laughs> shit. I bet you're wondering what we're doing. The thought occurred, yeah. Well... I wanted some company. That's it? That's it. Try again. I'm going to need more to go on than that. Joy rides with me aren't fun? Joy rides to where again? Life needs a little mystery, Chloe. Let's do something fun. 
flirt. What? V card's been punched, Rachel. I'm sorry. Wow. Too far. Well, I don't know. <laughs> okay, something fun. I'm all ears. Two truths and a lie. What? I think we should play Two Truths and a Lie. It's a game where each person offers up three facts about themselves, two of which are the truth, and one of which is a lie. Right. And then the other person has to guess which is which. Who have you cards? You're 16 years old. Who? <laughs> what the fuck? Sounds fun. You're on. I'll start. First, I'm ambidextrous. Second, I was born in New York, the land of fashion and Broadway, to which I will one day return when my heinous exile here in Arcadia Bay comes to an end. New York, huh? I've never been. Not a world traveler? Not yet, at least. If you could travel anywhere, where would you go? Russia, Greece, Kathmandu? Kathmandu. One day, I'm going to climb Everest. And I thought moving away from Arcadia Bay was ambitious. What's your third thing? My third thing? Two truths and a lie. You say three things. Right. I'm a Leo. Meow. Okay. <laughs> so, ambidextrous, born in New York, and a Leo. Gotcha. So, which is the lie? I don't know, man. Gonna go Leo. You're way too lucky to be a Leo. You've got to be a Sagittarius or something. The Archer? Ooh, that'd be cool. Like Artemis. But I'm afraid I was telling the truth. Seriously? Hear me roar. <laughs> no, the lie was New York. I've never been there, though I want to one day. I was born in Long Beach. New York's on the bucket list, then. Sounds good. Okay, your turn, Price. First fact. Right. Something about myself. Should I start things off with a lie or with the truth? Or should I cheat? Let's see how good she really is at this game. She's got to do use her powers and fuck us. I once broke my hand punching Stephanie Kowalski in fifth grade. No way. Bitch took my yoo -hoo. Knocked her the fuck out. I see you like to write notes to yourself. Helps me stay focused. Also, sweet scar. All lie. Sad to say this, since you're a Leo and all, but I'm allergic to cats. Are you now? Swear. I'm secretly the lead guitarist of an all-girl Misfits cover band called the Misfits. Impressive. You're hella mysterious, Chloe Price. Uh, hella? <laughs> Who says that? It's a Cali thing. Anyway, I think I have your number. Now, about this broken hand story. It's not that I don't think you could knock Stephanie Kowalski out. A bitch takes your yoo-hoo, she's gotta get got. Damn straight. But, you didn't get that scar from punching someone. No. That scar is from a distal radius fracture. What? How could you possibly know that? I broke my wrist when I was 10. Ah. The point is, I know that the scar you've got comes with breaking your wrist when you fall. Like, from a skateboard? Yeah. I guess six years ago? 
Seven. Well, shit. I always thought I was a good liar. Good thing you're pretty. Which brings me to your alleged cat allergy. Alleged? I'm calling lie. Why is that? I mean, maybe you're allergic. But I've passed by your locker a few times. And I've seen that old photo of a cat you keep in there. You've passed by my locker? Stalker much? Hey, I notice things. I can't help it. I guess you're no stranger to being noticed, too. It's kind of new for me. Well, get used to it. So, let's talk about this lead guitarist business. The business of show. As much as I'd love to be a groovy to your all-girl cover band, The Misfits. I'm gonna have to call Lie on that one. You don't think I can rock? On the contrary, you absolutely rock. The problem is, your hand is smooth, no calluses. You don't play guitar. Pity, too. You'd look hot on stage. So, if my math is correct, you cheated. Not a single truth escaped your lips. Not true. Oh. Stephanie Kowalski really did steal my yoo in fifth grade. Well, she better watch out. Next time I see the bitch, she's gonna feel my wrath. You are crazy good at this game. A lifetime of studying the human condition. Or a lifetime of rewind powers. No, I mean you're really good at this game. It's kind of creepy. I have a hard time imagining what creeps Chloe Price out. When your dad is the district attorney, I guess lying is something you're used to. Seriously? Seriously. I know who to call if I need to get out of a ticket then. Not that I have a right of my own. Car first. Embarrassing number of moving violations second. Hey, thanks for trusting me. Trusting you? You played the game. I guess. You opened up a lot. That's all. It's not a big deal. I hate to break it to you, but Chloe Price is not exactly renowned throughout Arcadia Bay as a bastion of trust and empathy. Trust doesn't exactly come easy to me. Maybe if you'd had my life, you'd understand. No, I get that. On the other hand, I got on this train with you, didn't I? Fair point. Why is there, like, sexual tension between these two? Wouldn't mind listening to some music. Hey, wanna listen? bracelet. I've had it, I guess, since I was a kid in Long Beach. It reminds me that there's more to experience out there than just Arcadia Bay. Maybe one day I'll go back to Long Beach, or anywhere but here. 
Maybe sooner than later. Me too. Arcadia Bay can suck a bag of dicks. Sometimes I feel like I've got no reason to stay. Don't be surprised, Chloe, if one day I'm just out of here. Let me know if you need an accomplice. Check it out! We're here! What? Where is here? Jump and find out! Did you say jump? Jump! Jump! Fuck it! You have so much to live for!